Whether you're developing early concepts, reviewing plans, or presenting ideas to clients, having the right sketching app can make all the difference. With so many tools available, how do you even know which one's the right for you? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're comparing two of the most popular iPad apps for architects and designers, Portfolio Trace and Procreate. Both are powerful, but they serve different parts of your design workflow. So which one would you choose? Let's break it down. But before we start, if you like this type of video, let us know in the comments down below or check out our previous video comparing Centerio versus SketchUp. Let's start with who these apps are actually built for. Portfolio Trace is designed specifically for architects, interior designers, and landscape professionals. Its biggest strength? Precision. You can sketch directly over PDFs, floor plans, and even 3D models. All of this while maintaining your scale and accuracy, of course. It's made for streamlining technical workflows and making your design ideas easy to interpret. Procreate, on the other hand, is built for illustrators and digital artists. With its massive brush library, advanced color tools, and support for animation, it's perfect for expressive drawings and visually rich renderings. While it's not intended for technical drawings, it excels at conceptual work and visual storytelling. In short, if you're prioritizing precision and professional documentation, go with Merfolio Trace. Or if you're leaning into creativity and visuals, Procreate is your canvas. Next up, let's talk about what's it like actually using the apps. Merfolio Trace is packed with architectural features like scale rulers, grids, and measurement tools. It takes a moment to get familiar with the interface, but once you do, it really streamlines your process, especially when dealing with technical markups or client presentations. On the flip side, Procreate is pretty simple. It's intuitive, fast, and artist-centered. The interface is clean and responsive, and the brush engine is one of the best available. You can easily create and customize brushes, which makes sketching a joy, especially for free hand work. And a quick note on pricing, Morfolio Trace is subscription-based at $9.99 for the Trace Plus subscription a year, while Procreate is a one-time purchase of around $10. So depending on your budget, that might factor into your decision as well. Let's break down the standard features of each app, allowing you to sketch, annotate, and measure in real-world scale. You can overlay drawings on top of site plans, calculate areas, and even trace over 3D models with automatic perspective alignment. It's an incredibly powerful tool for architects who need to work quickly and accurately, especially on site or during client meetings. Revolio Trace also makes it easy to export your sketches as annotated PDFs, ready for viewing or for collaboration and construction. Now, Procreate. Procreate's power lies in its brush engine and creative toolset. You get full control over textures, layers, color palettes, and visual effects. Perfect for creating presentation boards, mood studies, and high-impact renderings. With that said, Procreate doesn't support drawing to scale or technical annotations. So it's not really meant for precision work. It's about visual creativity, not architectural detailing. That's enough about the features, the specs, yada yada. What can they really do? If your daily workflow involves redefining drawings, adding quick overlays to floor plans, or producing scale-accurate sketches, Portfolio Trace is designed for you. It's a productivity tool that enhances clarity and technical technical communication. If you focus on storytelling, developing a design mood, creating eye-catching presentations, Procreate gives you the freedom to sketch in your own visual language. In fact, many designers use both Portfolio Trace for architectural precision and Procreate for creative expression. Okay, we've laid down the features, the specs, what they really can do in use cases, and you still haven't decided, so let's compare them side by side. 
literally. I'll pop up a graphic of everything that we can compare them to. And I'll give you a minute to decide which one is for you. Pause the video to better think about it. Okay, to sum it up, Morfolio Trace is your go-to for architectural precision, scalable drawings, and clear communication. Procreate is your creative playground, ideal for concept sketches and presentation visuals. So, which one's best? That obviously depends entirely on your workflow. If your day-to-day -day includes measurements, overlays, and construction docs, Trace is a no-brainer. If you're visualizing early ideas, illustrating moods, or crafting presentation pieces, Procreate is your best friend. Or better yet, use them both. That's how you cover the full design spectrum if you have the budget. If this video helped clarify which app fits your process, give us a like and hit subscribe for more design tech reviews. And drop a comment down below if you're more Mercfolio Trace or Procreate or both. We'd love to hear how it worked out for you. Thanks for watching and happy drafting. Actually, for this video, happy designing. Thank you.